you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm uh, not gonna be playing any Capcom or SNK game today but still an arcade game on the PlayStation Classic and uh, this might look familiar because it's a sequel to an uh, older arcade game that was ported to the Famicom and this is Elevator Action Returns All right. Yeah, I never saw this intro before, but there it is. Well, as you can see, this isn't um This isn't a game that may run perfect on the PlayStation Classic. As, uh, as you can already see, there are massive slowdowns and some stuttering on the sounds. But um, if you can uh, ignore those, it's um, actually still playable. And okay, you have to go through all the doors just like in the original. And I'm not sure if this actually had like a port on the PlayStation 1. I don't think so. Ugh, cannot get that anymore. I wasted my bomb there. So anyway. Actually, if you're not looking on the frame rate there, you'd think that the game is playable um, enough to think that it's everything looks normal. Of course, the sound is still stuttering, so that may be the only thing that, that would tell you that yeah, it is not running perfect. Ugh. Nope, I'm not dead. Don't worry. And um, if you have like a maybe I should if you have like a USB hub, this game actually supports uh, two players. And I seem to be stuck. Oh wait, I'll have to go through the top floor. All right, I got stuck too long. Hmm. Maybe I could jump over it. Oh yeah, you can. In the older games, you cannot do that. if there's two of you you have to wait for each other and not leaving one behind you have to <laughs> yeah having fun waiting for elevators <laughs> so it's kind of unique concept all right getting into the next level so as you can see things change up a bit it's not your usual building Ugh. I also played this on the... I mean, I tried uh, loading the ROM in the SNES Classic 
It um, actually doesn't run great. It's definitely a lot better here in the PlayStation Classic. Probably because it has more power. Or it's better optimized. Ah! It's better optimized at least. I suppose um, arcade games are a lot harder to emulate since there are lots of different boards, systems, chips. Alright. Why can't I. Maybe I might have to finish them off. Okay. Most of the Taito games are actually overlooked, but they do have a lot of... Uh, uh, at this point, I guess you'll call them forgotten gems. Overshadowed by, say, Konami or Capcom. Yeah, they have a lot of games. This being one of them. Kind of forgotten. Can I go in here? Oh, you can! Alright. I'm inside an airplane. Also, at least here you get a life bar and uh, grenades. <laughs> the older one, you just have... Uh, it's a one-hit kill. Mistake rushing too much there. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for uh, this video. This is once again Elevator Action Returns. And you're watching 8 bit days a week. Um, if you can overlook the performance, it's not perfect, but it is... Oh no, I'm dying! Okay, well, it is playable, and it's a fun game, and it has two-player co-op. And that's it. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.